The Al Khafiriya of Zaragoza is a group of monumental buildings comprising three palaces built in different historical periods. In the 9th century, a defense tower was erected, which served as the foundation of the tower known today as the Torre del Trovador. Two centuries later, the king of the Taifa Kingdom of Saracusta, Al-Muqtadir, ordered the construction of a palace come fortress, and this tower became a part of the northern wall. This magnificent Moorish palace, the al Khafiriya, was the one Avempes knew. The al Khafiriya is considered to be the most important example of civil architecture of the 11th century in the Islamic West and the most well-preserved structure from the times of the Taifa kingdoms. After the conquest of Zaragoza by Alfonso I, the battler, the al Khafiriya became the residence of the Aragonese monarchs who had additions put onto the building and carried out restoration work. The palace of Peter IV, built over the northern section of the Moorish palace, dates from this medieval period. During this time, two more stories were also added to the Torre del Trovador. The rooms of this Mudejar palace are crowned with splendid wooden paneled ceilings. so-called Chamber of St. Isabel and some of the arcades of the patio of St. Isabel and the Chapel of St. Martin date from this period. At the end of the 15th century, the Catholic monarchs commissioned another renovation and addition to the al -Khafiriya. Around the year 1492, new outbuildings were constructed on the Moorish grounds and the rooms of the Palace of Peter IV were added, which, together, comprised a second story superimposed over the one dating from the times of the Taifa Kingdom. A grand staircase was built to provide access to this area. Noteworthy among the splendid rooms in the palace with their magnificent flooring and spectacular polychrome and gilt ceilings is the stately throne room. In 1593, King Philip II decided to convert the al Khafiriya into a fortress or citadel. So the palace was surrounded by an outer fortified wall with bulwarks in every corner and an imposing moat. The following centuries witnessed the transformation of the palace into military quarters. Sections are still standing, as well as the Neo-Gothic towers added during the reign of Queen Isabel II. And so the al Khafiriya continued to serve as military quarters until 1931, when it was declared a national monument. At that time, a project was designed for its recuperation and restoration, which began in 1947 and took 50 years to complete. The palace became the seat of the Parliament of Aragon in 1986. Today, Zaragoza opens the doors of the al Khafiriya and invites visitors to delight in its architecture and ornamental beauty while they stroll through one of the greatest living testimonies of our history.